Well, in Peru, over a month since the ecological tragedy, protests demand an immediate economic repair and an effective cleanup of the sea are intensifying. Our correspondent, Ramiro Angulo Machiavello, expands on this. There are 2,000 members of the Artisanal Fishermen's Association of Alco a Pesca protests against Repso because Alto is being over a month since the oil spill. They feel robbed of their main work too and now demand the company to act responsibly in the face of the damage they have. They should acknowledge liability because here people are in need. They have to pay electricity, water and gas bills, school tuition. We have unmet needs. The 200 soles are not enough for anything. Repsol representatives claim they have truly cleaned up the spill, but that's not the case. The fishermen are also demanding that the cleanup be done right. They say that they have already cleaned up the waters, but they are lying. They have only removed the oil on the surface of the water. The bulk of the spill oil is at the bottom. The waters will be contained for the next 10 years. As, as said by the UN Express report, that will hurt the new generation of fishermen. The damage is unrepairable, but not just for the new generation of fishermen. This not only hurts our personal finances, but it's a tremendous damage to the whole marine ecosystem, an ecosystem that is provided us for so long. We need to strengthen environmental institutions, which basically means first, setting up surveillance and approval mechanisms for companies, second, government contingency plan to set up when companies can do their job, and third, to review the mechanism of the sign of contract with companies in this line of business. According to Alejandro Chirinos, executive director of the NGO cooperation, there are three elements that must be taken into account to prevent the occurrence of such ecological disasters in the country. Ramiro Angulo Machiavelo, Telesur, Lima.